Hello and welcome to another episode of EMA Cloud Rants, uh, Dan. Today you're going to ask me difficult questions about the EMA, EMA Top 3 Enterprise Decision Guide, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> so um, we, uh, we've we been kicking around for a while how to, how to take a, a different maybe look at vendors. And uh, the Top 3 was something that you... Uh, you sort of thought about and maybe you can share a little bit with how you arrived at that as a, a different format right. to uh, compare or contrast uh, what's available in the market. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, this really comes from, you know, we have enough quadrants, whether magic or not magic, right? There's two, there's, there's a lot of uh, feature by feature comparison guides out there. We don't need to do that again. What we wanted to do is we want to give this an empirical basis, right? We wanted, uh, we, we asked 260 enterprises about their most important pain points about what are they investing in in 2017, what are they struggling with, what are they looking forward to in the future, which technologies, you know, which problems do they want to solve. And based on that, uh, we build out uh, this report. So it's not a vendor comparison, right? The vendors are in the end aligned with the recommendations that come from this empirical study. Yeah, and the um, the study yielded uh, what you focused in on ten pain points, right? Yeah, ten key pain points. You know, things that uh, your peers in the enterprise are investing in. Uh, ten reasons, you know, why they are going to VMworld and spend a lot of money on other shows and talk to their peers there. Uh, obviously, you know, things like public cloud cost cost control, where your AWS bill may be escalating every month more. Uh, container management where you all of a sudden notice, wow, you know, there is a stack. It's not magic. There is still a stack. And if you have a stack, you need management. What are the pain points here? You know, all of those things uh, we, we reflect in those 10, pain, uh, 10 um, uh, criteria in this report. And then within each of those 10, you created some subcategories, which uh, how did you arrive at those? And maybe you can talk a little bit about why they're relevant. So the subcategories, they are based on very, very specific uh, angles that you can take to solving a problem, right? So for cloud cost control, you can, for example, you can just go and buy a couple of interesting utilities, interesting small tools, SaaS tools that you can start using right away, right? We call those rapid RI tools. Or... You can look at traditional multi-cloud managers. You know, they are, they're, 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 a lot of them have been around for a long time. Um, or you can say, hmm, you know, I already have private cloud. Let's see what my private cloud vendor does in this regard. And uh, basically, those are different angles depending on where you are as an enterprise where you can start your analysis. You know, it gives you inspiration to start your analysis from where you are. Right, and then within each of those, you you highlighted three vendors that you thought were particularly good in uh, in achieving each right. of those those subcategories. So it's it's not really a rank order. There no. there are three that uh, stood out for you. Yeah, and we're not saying buy these vendors. We are saying uh, we know these vendors. We validated these vendors. We've talked to these vendors. We've talked with customers and partners about these vendors. So go out and look at them, right? Don't necessarily buy them, but uh, go out and look at them because they are very well aligned with uh, your pain point and the pain points of your peers. So it's just sort of you've, you've taken some of the time out of sifting through who's good at what to sort of align around the empirical research and just give you a starting place to dig in um, when, if you're trying to solve one of those specific problems that are, that are discussed in the report. Right. I mean, it's our job, right? We're industry analysts, so uh, we, we get paid to do it. And um, we've done it so that uh, the other guys have somewhere to start and they save a lot of pain and a lot of time. If we can achieve that with this report, you know, we were very successful. Yeah, and you, um, you put together an infographic, right, that uh, kind of walks through the process that might help somebody who want to understand a little bit more about the report. Yeah, uh, I'm going to overlay this here and you can click on it and, and uh, click through to the actual blog post that step-by-step uh, -step explains this infographic. But 
uh, at the core of this is uh, we, we were looking for solutions that uh, were analyzing and attacking a problem from a new angle, right? A known problem from a new angle and an innovative angle and an angle that's important to the customer. Uh, that's how we made our judgment calls. So if you take a look at this blog post, you see the step-by-step -step process quite uh, detailed and, and ex, you know, quite excruciating and uh, you get a very good uh, idea of, uh, of how we did it. Great. Great. Well, I think that was all the time we had, yeah? Absolutely. Uh, that's it. We don't want to bore people all too much with more uh, details. This was another episode of EMA Cloud Rants. Thank you very much, Dave.